And they just got off stage talking about what's next in charitable giving, talking about Giving Tuesday. Kathy, could you tell us what we're looking forward to in Giving Tuesday this year? Uh, giving Tuesday is going to be huge this year. We know 2,500 partners joined last year. This year we have countries joining us. We know Mexico, Canada, and Singapore are coming on board. But most importantly, we just look forward to lots of people sharing their passion for giving back in some in some way and bringing others on board. Well, I think it's been amazing that the you know the Social Good Summit when we first started out was very small and it was a first attempt to open up this whole UN process to getting the public in and this year it sold out in 24 hours and people have been ringing me up all week trying to get tickets like it was like a at the Super Bowl or something it's kind of, so it's which is a pretty good indicator in itself that the people want to be involved and um, and this week in New York is actually the world is looking in and wanting to have its voice heard people want to be engaged they want to be part of building a better world the UN is a vehicle for that bring the people in the front door, engage, listen, respond, make a difference. I think that's really the, the message of the Social Good Summit. On Giving Tuesday, UNDP will be coming on board with the movement on the 3rd December this year and putting our global network at the service of really giving this a good push. Well, I think what we're talking about on stage is moving philanthropy from traditional charity to thinking about how all sectors and people everywhere can jump in and get engaged. And we do feel there's this wave movement and companies understand there's an opportunity to engage their employees in changing the world not just leaving that over there to CSR and doing the traditional things companies have done. And it's part of just a broader wave. Kathy used the term moving from charity to change. And I think we're just trying to engage particularly this next generation and bringing all they have into this space to change the world. That was my favorite quote on stage. I loved that. Now the one question that we're asking of everyone who comes off stage is what can we do today to build a better future? We don't have a minute to waste. So what we can do today is learn take action and share. One thing people can do with an eye on 2030 is just pick a subject and become a real expert on it, dig deep, get to know what needs to be done because I think one of the challenges of today is that there's too much superficiality and the more we, more we have people who are deeply engaged the more likely we are to get the change we want. I think the message to the general public of the world is get engaged, uh, be positive, uh, put cynicism behind us there are known solutions to many of the problems in development today. So let's make it possible for those solutions to reach the people who haven't been reached yet. And I would just say find a way to invest in people and ideas that can change the world. And that might be your time, that might be your talent, that might be your money. It might be your best idea that you can take to someone, but get engaged.